In today's episode of Value in My Toy Collection, we're going to value a lot of Happy Meal display pieces and some miscellaneous McDonald items. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My dream in life has always been to own a toy museum. So it's finally happened. I've bought a building, and now I've got to move this massive collection and value it into the building. We're calling it the Toy Vault because it's an old bank building located in Crystal Springs, Mississippi, that actually has two large vaults. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. Then I'm gonna make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. So let's start this episode of value my toy collection and value some toys. So let's jump right in today and start valuing our toys. We're gonna to do some McDonald's display pieces that had all the Happy Meal sets in the store. This first set is from Madam Alexander and the Batman series, and this whole display unit with all the toys is worth about $50. Now next up, this is the most valuable one I own, it's the McNugget Buddies, and they all need to be taped back in their original spots, but the lowest price on eBay is $350. And then we have the display set from Madagascar, which is very colorful, looks like a circus tent, and it's worth about $70 with all the pieces. I love having the whole sets of these, but it's gonna take up a lot of room in the toy museum. Next up, we have another set that has Madame Alexander in it and Tack, and this set's worth about $70. And then next up, we have the set from American Idol. Uh, it's worth about $70. Mine has one that has a duplicate figure, so I might have to go find that missing figure. That'll drive me crazy. We have another set that has the Minions that came out in 2015, and they're also worth about $70 on this big carded set. Next set's pretty cool. It's the Hasbro game set. It has little miniature games. It's worth about $70 for the whole set as well. I don't know why I like this one so much. Then next up, we have the newer version of the Space Jam. It's worth a hundred bucks. But one thing I don't like is not all the figures are actually on the card. Some of it's just pictures of the figures. And I think it should be all figures. Now this set is of all the Disney princesses and the Star Wars figures. One of my figures fell off. I have to go find her, but I know I have it. But this is worth about $125. Now I love the Smurfs. I've always loved the Smurfs. And this Lost Village set is worth about $70. And then we had this movie come out called Disney Pixar Soul. I saw it, it's a pretty cute movie. And this carded set is worth about $45. All right, and then I have the complete set of the Smurfs from the first movie that came out. And it's worth at least $100. I think it's worth more than that. And then I also have the complete set from the Smurfs 2, also worth $100. I couldn't even find them on eBay, so you know they're worth a lot when you can't even find it. But I just said $100 each to be conservative. And then we have these little signs they would put out at the drive through for you to see which Smurfs they have this week. And each of these signs are worth about, I'd have to say about $40 each. One of them I got off eBay and one of them I borrowed from McDonald's. I thought it was so cool that McDonald's brought back the Halloween trick-or-treat buckets with the Happy Meals and they came out with two different sets and I got all six of those and they're worth at least six dollars each so that's another thirty six dollars we can add and even though this is in McDonald's I just bought it because I'd never seen one it's a fake little crystal plush I love crystal hamburgers by the way and um it's worth about fifteen dollars I have just never seen one I had to have that all right next up in the garage we have a couple more fun things here we have this huge Ronald McDonald stand-up. I valued him at about $40 because he's missing his centerpiece. If he had a centerpiece, he's probably worth about three or $400, but that's the way I bought him at a yard sale for $5. I've got this giant ice cream cone bank. 
it's worth at least $50. It says $75 on eBay, but I think $50 would be just fine. Got this big Smurf poster that came from McDonald's for $35. And then the big Minion poster from McDonald's is worth about $25. And then just some random Christmas stuff I needed to add because I'm trying to add up everything in the house. Had this whole reindeer set that's worth about $20. This little elf doll, he's worth about $8. This little Russ Christmas man is worth $15. African American Elf on the Shelf is worth $15. The little Green Elf is worth about $12. He's really cute. He looks kind of realistic. Crocheted Candlesticks worth about $6. And Mrs. Santa Claus is worth about $10. Now in our previous 235 videos of value on my toy collection for our YouTube series, our total was $670,311. Now with this video, with all of our Happy Meal displays and a little bit of our Christmas, we can add another $1,712 to our grand total, making our grand total for episode 236, $672,023. That's pretty impressive. Now I'm not a millionaire. I've been collecting toys for about 40 years, going to garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, and looking on eBay. And it's just accumulated to this big old total. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm enjoying myself making these videos. I like to see what they're all worth and some of the toys I didn't even remember that I had. And if you wanna see these toys up close and follow the journey a little bit closer, you can also find us on Facebook under the Toy Vault of Mississippi.